You want to wear a hat, this hat? I have a Nike Tennessee Balls hat. Right now. You want to wear this? No, I do not want to wear a hat. Okay, you're, you're, are you taking three hats? Yes. Why? I need to change my hats like I changed my suits. And they're baseball hats. So right. In the update. Suit. Where are we going? We are going to the tour of our lifetime. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> We're leaving Vegas and getting started on our road trip to see several highlights of the Southwest. This video will cover our first stops, which are Route 66 and the Grand Canyon. We planned to go to Hoover Dam, but it was closed because of COVID. First stop is Route 66. It was neat to just walk around the small town of Seligman and get some really awesome pictures. She got premium gasoline. <laughs> After our quick stop in the Route 66 town of Seligman, we got back on the road headed towards Grand Canyon National Park at the South Rim. Once we got into the park, we went ahead and hopped right on the Orange Route Shuttle to the South Kaibab Trailhead. destination points on this trail at various distances from the trailhead. At about one mile in you'll hit what's called the Ooh-Ah Point. At 1.5 miles you get to Cedar Ridge and at three miles you arrive at Skeleton Point which is where you can see the first view of the Colorado River from this trail. It was a pretty hot day so we decided to just go down to the Ooh-Ah Point which made our out and back trip a total of 1.8 miles. And mom is all the way up there. We must have been going way too slow for her. After we finished our hike, we went to the Grand Canyon Village store where we would shop for some souvenirs and snacks. Along with gear and souvenirs, they also have a full grocery store in here. Once we were done in the store, we got on the red shuttle line to go see some viewpoints as the sun began to go down. Wow, look at that. So that's Bright Angel Trail. Maybe that's what Carl did. Do 
This is Hopi Point, frequently listed as one of the best sunset spots in the park. The focus of the sunset here is not actually the sun itself, but the changing colors it paints on the canyon walls as it sets. Along with its incredible sunsets, another thing that makes Hopi Point a very popular spot is its view of the Colorado River, which cannot always be seen from most of the other viewpoints along the South Rim. So if you didn't get this information earlier, guys, there's a few things to worry about here at Grand Canyon. You're going to worry about scorpions, tarantulas, rattlesnakes, mountain lions, gravity, and millennials. Those are the ones you're going to in Tennessee news. Oh, okay. All right, you better worry. Oh, we're coming, we're coming. One last thing to note, if you like to get pictures with the park signs, this one's a bit tricky to find as you can't see it from the road. However, you can put Grand Canyon sign into Google Maps and it'll take you right to it. In the next video, join us on the second leg of the trip where we visit Petrified Forest, another one of Arizona's national parks. From there, we'll head north towards Moab, Utah, passing through Monument Valley.